What's up, Capoeira Nation? Welcome back to the Capoeira Experience Podcast. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I'm so happy to to bring more people here and bring friends back to the to the podcast because I think it's uh the the friends that I know they've been creating a really really good impact in the not just in the Capoeira community but also in their own local community where where they live. They've been growing their Capoeira. They started their capoeira studio and then they grow they start growing their capoeira studio and then i really admire that because it takes a lot a lot of work it takes nights late nights even when we shut the door there's still a lot of work behind and then it's, it's, sometimes it just feels like we're always behind because there's always something that we want to improve or we want to do or there's always something that i mean you know i forgot to do this and then things like that happen so uh, I brought back a very, very, very good friend of mine because he he created uh, uh, this space for his people around him. And he started, again, like all of us, he started small. He started with, you know, we know studio. And now uh, with he opened his studio when he told me, hey, Kashishi, I'm going to open my studio. And then I was like, it was really cool, man. And then when I saw the studio coming all together and then all the students, he's just like, man, I have like, 20, 30 people now. I was like, what? That's so cool, man. But it takes a lot of work. And then I know, I know how work, how hard he works for this. Uh, and and it's a very, very huge example for me. And then I know for the Capoeira community seeing out there. Let me bring you back to Mr. Cabeza. How are you doing, bro? Hey, Kashishi. How are you, man? Good, 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 man. Good, good. Excited to have you back. Excited to to hear you, uh, to hear your story and then the, the information that you have there that I know you. You wanted to share this for a while, and then our schedule is just like a little bit different. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> but we made it work finally, and then yeah. but I'm I'm happy you you here to 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 express because sometimes you know we we get kind of like jealous with the information that we have. And it's just like no, it's it's my information, and and then but when it's people like yourself or and many other capoeiristas that came to the podcast and they just want to share the the information they have and that uh, the works for them makes me very happy because it's, it's you know there are many people out there that they have the question that they want to be where you want or or where other people are they, but they don't know how to get there so they then yeah. uh how, how when when you started classes in miami uh so the story a lot of story huh <laughs> when i when i moved here actually i was not thinking more about teaching capoeira Oh, crazy. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I decided that I want just to keep training and play capoeira. I was kind of a little bit disappointed with people. Yeah. Right? Because it put so much of, uh, effort to grow. And it's just a different expectation. Your expectation, people expectation. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. So that was the first lesson I learned. And then when I moved here... The first year, I was trying to figure out other things, and then Capoeira called me back. And then I was like, okay, before I start uh, working again with Capoeira, I want to be the best version I can be. Nice. So I started, okay. Yeah, I started studying a lot, taking class here and there. And then I started teaching back two weeks before COVID hit us. Oh, crazy. When you say classes, uh, you, th- just, you started taking classes. Classes of what? So I took, of course, like I uh, had people that helped me a lot to understand uh, what to do for me to grow. You know, we okay. always have those people helping yeah. us. So I had this guy uh, in Brazil. He's a capoeira teacher, Professor Peludo. Uh, he's not that much involved in capoeira right now, but he works a lot with financial. Okay. Uh, help people uh, learn how to work with money. And okay. he did a, a online workshop about uh, base business and time management. And that yeah. helped me open a little bit my mind about how much more we need to know before we think about business, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, and work with Capoeira. And also like people that I've been, uh, I haven't been watching for the past years since I moved here or even before that have a great work with Capoeira. What do they do? How they yeah. do? You know, so those people also help me understand a little bit more what to do. Uh, like Magu in, in, in Colorado, yeah. he, 
he works a lot with capoeira, ninja in Kansas. And then people, of course, here, like Mas Betinho, have amazing work. Mas Moni, yeah. Mas Minjinho, too. Like, all these people that yeah. already have success. Yeah. You know. So, talking nice. with friends and uh, Contra Mas Miku, Ray, a lot of people yeah. that have experience and just help me be more, a better professional. Yeah. You know? And then you started, uh, but do you remember the year you started teaching back there in Miami where you say like I'm gonna start opening my capoeira classes so I'm I started so I, I was training this gym and people started asking me about capoeira and the owner of the gym let me use uh the space so that was November I think what no it probably was February 2020 right oh, when cool. okay when COVID happened right so it was uh, a few weeks when, yeah, before. Before the lockdown? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was uh, March, I think. Yeah, it was like, yeah, we started February. Oh, and cool. And then okay. Lu Lucas and Jamanch was training with me. And then COVID happened. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm not doing this, you know. Yeah. I just start. And then it took me two months for me to start going through, through the online uh, classes. Because okay. Lucas kept like my student kept like asking me, and then okay, let's do. So yeah. I start doing online classes, start growing, start nice. applying uh, what I have learned, right, and start just uh, like cycle, you know. Yeah. More people started getting involved. People helped me, uh, and then as soon as I could be in a park, I went to a park. Yeah. And then class, I was doing class Sunday in a park, and then during the week online, and then uh, last, no, it has already been more than one year, uh, 2021, then over 2021, uh, we found, find like three academies, or no, we find a one studio and start doing class in the studio. One month late, the studio closed, yeah, to quickly find another place because at that time I already had like almost ten people involved want oh, to train. Crazy, yeah. And uh, then we find uh, this studio that I am now and another studio. And yeah. I was doing two days here, two days there, Sunday in the park, and then uh, last year, no, at the end of the year, two thousand twenty-one, the owner came to me and said, "Hey, look." Uh, can we switch your time because we have uh we're gonna be using your your time because these people they're building their studio here yeah so they need another space and I, i'm like what are you talking about and he started showing me all these little rooms here because it's a big building yeah and and then i told him why you never told me that I have the old possibility for me to have uh a space here and in that time, I didn't have a uh, structure yet to okay. do, but I want to know more. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, in my head, I'm only going to open my studio in the future, you know, yeah. five years in the future. I didn't believe that I could. But then I want to know, I got curious to know the yeah. possibility, and we start talking. And I had a really good friend that he's in Hawaii now that started helped me negotiating the rent and, oh, cool. you know, the conditions. Yeah. And we, uh, we agree, you know, with the owner, two, uh, two guys here that own the space and they're really like nice guys. And nice. then in February, we signed up the contract. And then it, this was a big mess. It yeah. Was a bunch of rooms. Uh, they use more to keep all the stuff here. So we had to Yeah, I remember everything. all the I remember that it was like just like the walls, the yeah. floor was a mess, the all the electrical stuff was a mess. Yeah, yeah I remember a picture you Here used to be a used to be a channel TV. So huh. I like I had to cut more than one thousand cables, I think. So I spent one oh, week man. just clean cables from this yeah. room. And man, of course Lucas was helping and uh I just think like sometimes when you give good, you know, from your heart, but yeah. the universe also bring back yeah, to 100%. you good people. And I had this student 
that I was doing Capoeira for two weeks. Uh, him and his wife, his son, he said, I'm going to help you. That's I'm going to help nice. because I was looking nice. for people to do the construction. Yeah. And it was like almost $30,000 just for the yeah. construction. Yeah. Because, and this guy, yeah, no, I help you. I help you. We're going to make work. And he helped me from his heart. So I'm, I'll be always grateful. The whole family trained for, you know, they have a membership here. Yeah. They don't have to pay. You know, they help me a lot, still help me a lot. So, yeah, I that's found amazing. I found like good people that helped me a lot. Yeah, that's so nice. You know? So probably what, like three, three, two years, right? In two years, it took you to open your studio when you saw yeah. the opportunity and open the studio. Yeah. It's from 2020 and then what, 2022? Yeah. Last year, right? You, you have already a year? So I opened in April last year and yeah, it'll be one year, a couple months. That's so cool, man. That's so cool, so cool. And then, so, so what is the the like the product of the the stuff that you pretty much offer? Oh, a, a, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people get offended if if, if we say product, but you know we we are, we are offering a service to the people yeah. out there. And then and then what what is the what is all the stuff that you offer there, like packages and uh, kids program, one year contracts, or I don't know. What do you so yeah i do because of the covid and the online thing i didn't do kids class until i could yeah. be physically with the kids because i thought it like people that had work already with kids like uh Messi Lobino, uh he could manage and also he actually he grow his program during covid i try and it wasn't working so I was just focusing the adults because I could hit a little bit the fitness part with the adults. So it was a little yeah. bit easier for me. And so I did that when I opened the studio. I put kids class and I, I did all right divide. You know, I designed my schedule right thinking about what I wanted, even though I didn't have the students yet. I was yeah. like, okay, I'm going to be there. I'm going to do yeah. what I want from the beginning. And uh, so I did a class five years to, to nine years old. Okay. And then uh, 10 to 13, 13 up, and then adults. Oh, cool. You know? The teens program, I have a few teens, but they are trained with the adults. Okay. You know, I still have the time, you know, just to be open, but... Here in Miami, a lot of young kids is looking for capoeira. So, That's so cool. and yeah, and starting, I was not planning yet because yeah. I felt that I was not really. I didn't have the language with the young kids, but then I started doing, it and I, I love, you know, nice. they're they're really cute. Yeah. So, I was doing a free class, and one of the the kid I was trying, the mom was like, oh, "I have the sister. She's three years old." She can try, and she try, and she did amazing. Oh. So I decided to open for young ages, and then more kids started joining. So I had to add an, a more uh, one more class that I start three, three to four. Yeah, but I already have like few kids that are two years old. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm starting like two years old. Of course, I'm learning how you know it's thirty minutes class is last time. Yeah, for and sure. Then, then that fill up, you know, I have uh, two of the classes have around 10 or more kids. So I read yeah. add. So that was Monday and Wednesday. So now I add Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. Trying to bring that. I'm thinking to add a young class in the morning too for the yeah. people that, you know, are home, you know, so they uh, can have kids in the morning. Yeah. And the adults, the adults are growing really. So my goal, I know a lot of people say the kids is easier than the yeah. adults. So since the beginning, I want to make work with adults first. Okay. You know, because I think we have a way to make work. We well, just for sure, yeah. find yet what works. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I feel just like adults, because adults, they're just like independent. You know, just like they pay for their own stuff. And then once we grow up, we we get to the stage people start looking for a lot of many reasons. Like, yeah. And then they start putting a lot more excuses too. Be like, yeah. no, that's too hard for me. I'm too old when I'm like 25. Yeah. I'm too old to do that kind of yeah. stuff. 
<laughs> then, then those, oh, I'm not flexible enough. I don't have a coordination. And then the older we get, the oldest we get is we yeah. use more excuses. Yeah, so it's, of course, yeah, for sure. Like we have that too. I, I understand yeah. that we we pass by a sign and say, oh, I want to do this, and we never do it. No. So we have <laughs> yeah. that, you know. So, but yeah, I think I'm doing, you know, well. I know I'm nice. still in the, the, the first year, so, yeah. you know, uh, a lot of things can happen. Yeah. You know, you see people that have a work, been working with a couple of years, they have a good group, and suddenly they, you know, they lose everything. So yeah. I understand that. So I try not never be comfortable. But we just passed the number of 50 students in the studio. Oh, 50? That's so cool, yeah. dude. Congrats, man. And half and half is the kids and adults. So the adults are growing. Like I have around 26 adults training here. That's so studio. cool, man. That's so cool. And then from in one year, right? one year gap, right? Yeah, one That's year, so cool. Yeah. And then they are they're very like very consistent. Yeah, I mean so I cool. have some that they come once a week. Yeah, yeah they yeah, come yeah. to work out. You know. Yeah, yeah. But they 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 keep coming. They keep coming, but I have nice. those. One of the things that I started seeing that I managed to spark the passion on them. You know, they're here, and I don't have to force. I yeah, think that's the trick. You know, like when you create an environment that. They choose to be here. You don't yes. have to train more, do this more. No, they're singing, they're learning songs, they're playing, they stay later. You yeah, know, they, they want it, you know, to do that. Yeah, 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 it's, exactly. It's, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. going, I'm pretty happy with the results. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. Well, is is again, is you know, you've been working very hard to to get where you are. And and I know every time we talk, he's just, oh no, yeah, I'm busy doing this, or I'm busy doing all these kind of stuff for, for, for the studio. And then that's things that, that those are kind of things that we have to understand before we take the step that is not, is, is not easy, but it's not impossible, but it's, yeah. it's, it's good to, to get there. And, and then I'm hundred percent sure it feels really good when you see the, the amount of people that you have, you're just like, man, that's so cool. It, it feels good, right? Yeah. I think it feels more than good because it's not just about, Having people here is the feeling of see what you're doing to those people life. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, yeah. and that's special, like more than you know, the payment or money, you know, like see how much you can affect people, yeah, lives and see like how important part of their life you become yeah. for the kids, for the parents, you know. So that's is like what does it inspire me yeah. you know so i'm pretty happy nice and, yeah. that's cool man that's cool because it's you you creating a community for them and then for them to come all together and then it's it's really cool man. yeah yeah then and then what would be the like the mindset behind when you shut uh, the door and then you are like now i gotta i gotta get my mind into this from the teacher now to manage the business. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, I think that's a good question because I always see the mindset as an important point for you to succeed. Oh, yeah. You know, if, if you don't believe, first of all, you cannot make. Yeah. You know, if you don't believe that, and I see today a lot of Capoeira teachers, they don't believe in Capoeira. Mm hmm Yes, sir. You know, they come to me, oh, I cannot live doing capoeira. I cannot do this with capoeira. Yeah. They have, and I've been there too, you know, yeah. but then I saw people that, uh, so I want to talk a little bit about the product that you mentioned, the service. Yeah. But like I see people that they don't have a good service, a good, you know, it's good, but no, it's not what it could be. And they are doing the work and they are having plenty of students, you yeah. know, they're good. They're doing good. And it's because the mindset. Yeah, so yeah. Of course, have the strategy that you put behind. Yeah. But start with your mindset. And I feel like, first of all, you need to be yourself. I, you know, yeah. I don't want to be here playing a character, like <laughs> being yeah. the person that I do. I'm not like the type, and people know that. I'm not the type that I'm going to be yelled in class, hey, that type of teacher. I'm the yeah. one that 
it's more about my knowledge and my yeah. experience, you know, and so how I can help you, you know, yeah. and the results that I'm bringing to you. So I understand first who I am to understand who I want to hear. Yeah. You know, and what I, how I can help Capoeira. I don't sell Capoeira, selling a word like promote. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah. Capoeira is for everybody. But, you know, I think about, okay, what type of people I want here with me, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I want to help everybody. But like, if, for example, you have serious health issues, you need to go see first a doctor. Yeah. You know, like Capoeira have the, the opportunity for you to help everybody. Yeah. But helping everybody doesn't mean that you have to tell, oh, you need to, no, you need to go in now in the doctor. Yeah. Figure out your life, you know, be better. And then when you're ready, I want to help you with Capoeira. And I think that uh, honest, like that. honesty, instead yeah. of like trying to, yeah, yeah, I can help you. And then yeah. you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and you don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah and you're just harming people. So yeah. I, I see the responsibility that I have in my word first, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm clear with that. Now, when I'm here, a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of coffee. And that's important for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, I remember. <laughs> yeah. No, I just want, you know, give, give people know what they want or what they need. Yeah, and I keep telling my students that uh, for me, I am really worried about the legacy I'm gonna leave behind me. Yeah. So of course, like I want to open the door for more people to come here, and then share as a way, make simple as possible. I'm not change the art. I'm change the door. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, so yeah. like when people walk in here, they feel welcome. And that I learned a lot of from my mom, you know, like my family. Like you go to my house in Brazil and a lot of families are like that, yeah. you know, in like yeah, yeah. Latin culture, you know. Yeah. It's a mess, but it's a mess that make you happy because yeah, everybody's there, you know. Everybody's like, happy, everybody's, everybody's smiling. Yelling yeah. and play games and joke with each other, good yeah. food and sharing, you know, fights all the time. But yeah. the, the boundary, you know, yeah. the, 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 the bonding, the lay, yeah, the lace that keep us together, you yeah. know, is, is strong. Yeah. So I was just there now, uh, last month, I think, for one week. And to see that my family, you know, like my cousins, yeah, were like, my mom's house is like really small and you have like 10 people there, you <laughs> know, sleeping. And then, and then and, that, that's when you realize, like, oh, I got it from here. Yeah. So, and then I come back and I'm like, I want to treat people like I make people feel welcome to my yeah. space, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like sure. you come here, I'm worried about how you 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 you're doing, you know. Yeah. So that that's me. So understand who who I am. I think that was a huge uh, uh thing that helped me become a better professional. Yeah. Instead of trying to become someone that I'm not, you know. I think that's the the mindset behind, yeah. you know. Yeah. And of course. You need to be humble and 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 uh I say firm in your words, you know, you're okay. kind, yeah. you're comp compassionate, but at the same time, people when they walk here, they need to understand that here is not like you can do whatever you want, you know, have have rules, have yeah. limit. But I share that with kindness, you know, and, yeah, and for compassion. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Other thing I think is learning. A lot of people when they are older, they stop learning. That's you true. know. Yeah, I agree. And the professions I'm talking about, you know, like I'm a teacher, but I have so much things that I don't know. Oh, yeah. I sure. want learn. You know, I want to learn. So every day I try to learn something. I try yeah. to improve something. Yeah. I look other people works, you know, I talk with other people, I yeah. ask other people, I ask for help, I delegate, yeah. you know, what I cannot do. And I think like Capoeira teachers, they want to hold everything to them and they yeah, want to yeah. be the center of, of, of everything. Yeah. yeah. And I'm starting to realize that 
is not like that. We are no, serving yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. And we, you know, it's the opposite, right? Yeah. We own them, right? Yeah. Because if not, the art is going to die. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, I agree. Because no. uh, the, 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 I totally agree when you say that, you know, when there, there's a time where people like stop learning. But I really think, uh, not just in Capoeira, and I feel just in general, right? When people think that they already know what they need to know, or and then their ego get in the front of his, and he's be like, I'm not gonna learn from you. You know, I, I don't need to learn from you. I'm I'm a teacher. You're not a student. Yeah, you, what are you gonna teach me? And then those kind of things definitely is gonna block yeah. your 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 learning. And then it's just like you stop the process of of thinking, how can I get better at whatever. Like you, like you're saying, like you, you ask for help, and then not a lot of people ask for help, and then they get stuck, and then they say, "Why is this happening to me?" He goes, "Well, yeah. somebody knows what to do on your situation. You just gotta ask for help." Yeah. So, like, imagine. So, if you, if someone walk in your door, and you're teaching capoeira the way it works for you, the the percentage of you succeeding is not a lot, you know. Yeah. But when you start realizing. Where you want to go, of course, okay, I want my students to play Capoeira with quality, you know, and, and knowledge and keep, you know, growing and and understanding, reach out to the, all these elements that we know is important. But like when someone walks here, I try to understand, okay, what's your goal? Yeah. You know, and how I can solve your problem and yeah. how I can give what you want right so i was reading this book and now i don't remember the name right now but it's a really simple book and because when you start like studying about business they always talk about what people want right what do people yeah. want and and have so many things that people want right yeah for them lose weight get fit or whatever but in the end of the day all is true things what do we want? Resolve a problem yeah. or a future pain, you know, or pleasure. Yeah, 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 100%. You know, and when you start thinking about that, it's like, okay, now I get it. And then when he, you you start making your class more fun, right, yeah. more enjoyable, and then you're focused, okay, where's the problem? Okay, this yeah. person very can squat down. Yeah. So what I can do to, like, make this person do a, a coconia? And then when this week, for example, had this student, he started capoeira like five months ago, never did capoeira, probably was not working out before okay. or doing things here and there. Not bad in shape, but not fit, you know, like yeah. a normal person. Yeah. And like my age, around my age, yesterday he did a bananera, not in the wall, and he hold first time. Oh, nice. He went, boom, hold, and he started yelling, look at me, look at me. Yeah. You know? So exciting. And that I'm reminding me, like, when you're learning a bike, you know, yeah, and you, yeah. the first time you go and you get so excited. And you're like, yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, doing yeah. it. So, and that's, that's, you know, beyond, like, he playing Capoeira, that's the result I want. Like, yeah. these little steps that people do, that's, for us now, it's nothing because we've been there. Yeah, years ago, right? Yeah, but for those for people, that's huge. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's huge. The first class, they're saying, "Oh, I cannot do cardio. I cannot kick a higher. I'm not flex, so I'm not this. Yeah. I'm not that." And then when they and try, then, they start getting, it and it feels good to to see them yeah. there. The accomplishment, but I had to create a whole yeah environment for that, and yeah, I think yeah. that's the, the important part. Yeah, and then for for classes, do you offer like packages? Uh, I don't know, like three months, six months, one year, things like that, or month to month. How do you provide that? Uh, so, yeah, uh, charging, I think it's another subject that people have a lot of confusion. Yeah. Right? So what I do here to explain a little bit like the strategy I will use. Uh, first, I do ads. I, put, I invest a lot of money in ads, you know. I learn how to do Facebook ads. Yeah. I'm not a professional, but I understand a little bit how the campaigns, you know, the message I want to share. Yeah. I, I look at a lot of ads that uh, is interest to me, and I yeah. try to cop what they're doing, understand the language, right? 
uh, have a goal. Uh, I create also, we're talking a little bit about that, but like the, the product yeah. that you have, you have to know and create a really good product, right? Yeah. A really good service that you cannot be, it's not, I try not be an illusion, right? When you come yeah. in here, you're going to get what I promised to you. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Then I th try to think like, okay, what is the first, you know, uh, compliment that I can do in the first class and then yeah. in, in two weeks and then one month and the people start seeing that progress and that excites them to be more involved. Instead yeah. in the first class, oh, you need to learn music, you need to learn. Now, what is the, 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 we feel in the first class, you make them play capoeira. You know, really simple conversation, right? Yeah. Not like to, to create movement, no. I, I try to make my first class as uh, inter entertainment possible. Yeah. So yeah, I tell yeah, yeah. stories, you know, with passion. So I talk about myths in Capoeira, how Capoeira was illegal. I bring all this historical behind yeah. to the movement. And when they do the movement, they understand better yeah. why we do this, why I we like do that. that, the dance. Yeah. And then, so I create like a first class that's working. And then of the first, the, this class, I have a, a, a pitch, right? Like, okay, you guys came here, the first class, because you guys tried that. I have a, a discount for you guys. Of course, like here, I'm in partnership with the gym, so I can offer for students the gym for free. Yeah. So I put this there. I'm working with the jiu-jitsu. I offer two weeks of jiu-jitsu for free. So yeah. all these make the pocket even more appealing for people to sign up. And I don't do like train one time a week to train. I say you sign up, you can come into all the classes. It yeah. doesn't matter the price, you know. Uh, and then, of course, some people, they can only come one time a week. So then yeah. I work with them separate. Um, I have two class that is more advanced, that is level two. Okay. That's not included. So I create a way that in, in three months, I teach the basic. So I yeah. teach the base escapes, how to do jinga, uh, the base kicks, the base acrobatics. And I mean, I do melody French, Keshad, Armada Melody Compass. Yeah. I do, I mean, the name is changed, but uh, Cocorinha, I use yeah. Cocorinha, lateral, baixa, recuada, negativa, and then au, bananeira, ponte. Nice. So that's okay. what I teach in these three months. And this class that I do, so I do Monday and Wednesday is focused in the capoeira. So the technical yeah. part, Tuesday and Thursdays is the capo fit. So I work in the workout <clears throat> part nice. where they can focus in building strength. So that things that going to help the capoeira for them to grow faster. Yeah. So how to do a squat, build the muscle, mobility, balance, nice. uh, core, you know, all these things that when they, and of course, with capoeira involved, yeah. so we do kicks, we do not much mental, more physical, right? Okay. So when these two combine in three months, they can, they feel better, they feel good. So then I offer, you can keep doing the same program or you can do this level two, right? So then yeah. they can train in the level two that then is more capoeira, then is more sequence, then is more partner, then is oh, more cool, beyond okay. that, you know? So, and then we do more things. But in this intro program that I call, uh, is always the same thing. I never change. I mean, the class is different, but the moves is the yeah. same. I don't do some craze. For them to understand, they have a difference. And everybody is coming to this class, even like the people that's already in the level two, because it's basic, it's foundation. They need yeah. that, you know, and they see like how affect their, they, I, I heard, I don't remember where uh, now, but someone said, you can do advanced things with foundation. You cannot do advanced things without a foundation. Without foundation. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, I would say, yeah. And everybody wants to move fast for it. Yeah. And so the first, the first thing is like create a culture to understand that that don't exist. Yeah. Right. Especially in Capoeira, you cannot force time. You yeah. can you can speed time if you train more. Yeah. But you cannot train something that you're not capable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus experience you know. and everything else that comes with, you know, playing in the harder and then know. everything, everything that comes with time. And so that, okay. 
and then the packet. So when they sign up, so I do first class free, free yeah. first month, they sign up just first month, I give a discount that depends 30%, 50%. I don't mind that. The first, I just want them to fall in love with Capoeira first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after the first month that they experience the commitment, they've been trained, they see the results, then I talk with them, oh, look, you can sign up for the rest of the program. It's two more months. And little by little, I add that commitment. I don't yeah. force anything from the beginning. And then, okay, I sign up for the, and they do this the next two months. I give a discount. And then after the third month, and I say, oh, you can sign up for the same program the whole year, or oh, cool. you can go to the to the level two. That's yeah. a little bit more expensive, like ten dollars more expensive. And so then I get people where I want, and I make sure that I'm making enough money, right? Yeah. And I think that's the problem. People charge too cheap. Yeah. And they compare themselves with this fitness place that. They're like McDonald's. They're like what? The, 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 the Ma McDonald's. Oh, the like McDonald's, yeah. McDonald's. Like, not, not against, but it's a different type of product. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. We, we should place ourselves high-level programs, right? Because yeah, yeah. we study many years. Like, I'm doing Capoeira for 26 yeah. years, right? Yeah. I took a lot of workshops. I learned from a lot of masters. And the Capoeira is not just about fitness you know you're not yeah. just getting fit you're not just coming here and and i'm telling you what you want to do like yeah, you yeah. go to a gym you know i'm teaching you capoeira yeah in a few months in, you want to play capoeira in a few years you want to be able to work with capoeira yeah right so i know how important is that and also i want to live doing capoeira i don't have yeah. to i don't want to have a side job if i do is is a compliment of whatever I want, you know, but yeah. it's not like if I, right now I'm doing just a couple and I'm, I'm fine. Right? Yeah. I'm getting the point. I mean, I still have traits of all, all these years, the bad yeah. choice, of course. Yeah. Uh, John Munch helped me a lot these past four years, a lot. Yeah. I'm really grateful for her. So she also gave me the, the opportunity to develop all these without yeah. like, Hey, you know, money here or this or that. It's like, Okay, I'm gonna support you. And but now the idea, this is why I want to share because I want to make sure that people see that and people yeah. that work with the capoeira start believing and see that it's possible. Yeah. And see that don't need to take years, you know, yeah. of doing but mistakes. The, the, the other thing that, that I at least like what I think from adding to, to what you said, I do believe that that we need to to put capoeira in a good spot and and charging enough not be like super cheap for for people to or to provide a very cheap service but on on that point is you got prepare for for a lot of stuff you know you go prepare on business you got knowledge how to teach and then i was talking to to tempestaji the other day and i was like hey you know like teaching capoeira is not just about step like be in front of five people and say like, okay, now 10 jingas, now 20 jingas. is because you, you got this more than that. You know, you, you got to understand how people are. Uh, not everybody learns the same way. And like you said, no, no, everybody learns the same way you learn or no, everybody's going to love Capoeira the same, you, the same way you love it. And then the service that you provide. And so if, if you, if you provide a very crappy product or, or, a product that or you are mean in class or you just like like you're not welcoming and, and you don't have a base the base that you are saying about about going to advance is yeah we should charge more but what what service are we providing it's just not yeah. just like it's just it's not just a class it's just like are we providing a community are we teaching their music are we teaching their part of the culture because capoeira is not just about jinga Melody French, Cocorina. Yeah. And then yeah. the history, are, are you well, well informed as a teacher in the history part? And then do you learn uh, uh, other things that goes behind Capoeira, the, the, you know, the, the names of the old masters and how, what kind of history are you going to teach them? It's just not, yeah. not just about doing 10 jingas and 10 Melody French. You, you're going to well, provide a example, really good service. 
if we create a way that like I become a better teacher, right? My students, they're going to be better teachers anyway. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. And then, and then we, if I figure out how the business works, we, what yeah. do we need to understand also like separate things, right? People I don't like this. People don't like to talk money. And that's, that is a mentality that's part of the mindset because yeah, yeah, money yeah. is part of our life and yep. m money is not the villain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, live like better, it or not, money is part of a life. <laughs> yeah. And live a better. I don't want to be rich. I want to have a comfortable life. I want to be Because she are doing an event, I'm going to go to her event. And don't yeah, have yeah, to yeah. worry about that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, I, I, want, I want to be in that place, you know, and not have to like, of course, in the process, you're going to have to do things that you don't like and still yeah, have for sure. still do like that. I don't, but I don't want to understand where you're going and why you're doing. Those things, it's easy to do, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so of course the preparation, uh, we talk a bit about the service, that's yeah. important, the mindset and the yeah. preparation, right? Yeah. 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 What are you doing to prepare? You cannot just open a class. Oh no. Yeah. Cabezon said that. Now I'm gonna, my mindset and you know, <laughs> no, yeah. what is your preparation? Man, and I read purpose. every day. I have a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So you, so you set up your goal, right? What are you doing? Their legacy. Yeah. Uh, of course. I'm not talking this to people that don't have a, a mentor. I need mentors, right? Yeah, hundred like percent. I, yeah. I have I have friends that I talk that is, they are my mentors. Yeah. Uh, they may not have the same experience in Capra that I have, but they yeah. have like financial uh, experience. They have like okay, I need to sign a contract with this or a license or, or whatever. I have yeah. people that I need to talk. So understand yeah. that. When you start preparing yourself, it's not just about you become good in everything. You become good in what you are read good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. you find people to help in the things that you're not good. Yes, I agree. You know, like and that. that you're because any business like that, like you cannot yeah. do everything. No, it's impossible. You cannot. Yeah, yeah. You need people by your side. Yeah. And talking about that, okay, we're talking about the money. How you raise your your uh membership right yeah. then have people that cannot pay it's easy for you to figure out those people okay you cannot pay here yeah then you are in my better today i'm in a better place that i can let people train here paying not a lot yeah but i'm not hurting myself anymore yeah, yeah. doing that yeah. you know so those people don't become like i should become part of the family i'm more happy teaching them yeah right? 100 i'm planning to to go in place, that's the other part that I was also talking with Jamanch. Now we need to figure out how to, I forget the word, um, give access to everybody. You know, you, like I want to bring people access. Oh, okay. Access, yeah, yeah, yeah. Access. So I want to bring people that can afford Capoeira to be here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. So now I can do that part. So first yeah. of all, I helped myself. Then now I can start help people. Yeah. And people usually do the opposite. They want to help everybody, but they 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 cannot afford food. They don't have a how to get around. Yeah. They're having really bad. They are living a really bad situation, right? And I think like how I can make someone become a capoeira teacher, a capoeira player, or instructor, professor, or master, with in the example in the house. Like, why am I going to be this with my teacher? He's yep. living really bad, you know, really bad situation. He's working a lot, doing all these things. I don't know, I'm going to go to college and become yeah. something else. You yeah. know? So uh, the representation yeah. that I have, just being a successful business, whatever, yeah, that affects how people walk to the door and see me that's and that's want to invest in couple. A very good point, yeah. Know? And then also... I'm not comfortable. I still going to others. I still going to events. I still travel. I yeah. still study. I still train. I still do all these things that I want my students to do. Yeah. I see people telling the students to do this and that, and they don't do. Yeah, yeah. I see people. A lot of people. You like know. That so like, it's the the example is you. you know? Yeah. And then this is why I said, if you be the 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 reference, people are gonna follow that. It's yeah. like a kid. And the parents, we, yeah. even when they don't notice, we do exactly what our parents did That's when they were growing up. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, so we follow their steps even like yeah. unconsciously. Yeah. yeah, so it's the same thing. So, yeah, so you need to organize yourself, right? You yeah. need to plan, you need to have structures. Is You have to have goals, right? You yeah. have to learn also. One of the things I learned, not in your brain, in your brain is just dreams. You need yeah. to put in the paper, you need to write down, you need to be specific. You know? Yeah. I you need that. to set up release goals right or even like your dream my dream is too big like who's yeah. around me knows like this event that i'm doing in a couple of weeks in a few weeks a lot of people it's not possible you're crazy your first event i'm like that's my dream so i'm gonna do yeah and i'm gonna, I'm gonna for, figure out of course i had to put everything in the paper i did a, a whole app with organization i you know I, I, I this past year i learned how to make apps yeah you know, so I, I'm using what I have, the tools I have yeah. to become a better professional, you know, and we are in, in the best, man, I think we are in the best moment ever because we just came out from COVID and people yeah. need capoeira. Yeah. And people want to do stuff and people want to learn a lot. People of want to that. And we are living technology now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Before you had to like give, you go outside and give flyers and <laughs> how many flyers in a day you can give? 500 right yeah probably imagine we feel good yeah you know <laughs> yeah and even like that is, is annoying because yeah. you're invading people's space you're yeah. someone is walking the street and hey here fly hey, people yeah, ah, okay get... and they throw in the trash yeah well and i remember you don't have... when sorry to interrupt you, but I, I remember when uh when i was studying graphic design uh people and then they they, they taught us a little bit of the marketing it was like if you give if you give a hundred flyers for every hundred flyers, a uh, 90, 90 of them, no, uh, eighty percent of eighty of those flyers, they're gonna see it, they're gonna, and they're not throw it away. Like ten of them are going to kind of like see it, save it, and throw it away in the house. <laughs> and then the other ten, uh, five of them are gonna read it. They're like, oh, they're interested, but not gonna do anything. And then five of them, they see it. And they might check check it out, and probably you on you are gonna get only two people. <laughs> See, usually for every hundred, you get probably like just like two people. Interested, now, maybe like trying to do it. So now imagine this with the internet. Oh, internet! You first, have so many possibilities. You you for you free. You have, <laughs> but, uh, but no paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paid. But but I'm saying like free access. So know, let 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 let's go. Anyway. Let's go back. So let's talk about it the free stuff right yeah. that helps uh that was doing a lot helped me a lot i stopped now just because time managed i got yeah. a guy now that gonna help me the social media it's free you can tell your story yeah social media is not a place for you to sell yeah a lot of people do that and they sell without a start oh come and try a uh, class 29 dollar not against but they only do that and yeah. they don't show valor and people need to understand the difference that I learned through price and valor. When I talk about valor, is what are people going to get. Yeah. You know? So when you just use that, you know, you're not showing valor to what you do. So with social media, you can give a valor to what you do. Right? Yeah. In so many different ways. Um, you can create a relationship. You can tell a story from Z, uh, zero to whatever you know so you build that relationship over time people that never knew what it was capoeira now they can understand if you know how to tell that story right yeah so we feel the right for them my, my instagram page you have 1000 not even 2000 my my evolve page that i do for my academy uh because i stopped working in my personal i yeah. I'm, i was like around eight thousand people but then i'm like oh you know what i want chich so you know yeah, i, yeah, I yeah. don't want to be the the company influencer not now in not in that time right so I'm like yeah. okay and so i decided to do another page because most of the people that follow me i don't know if that was right or wrong right? yeah I yeah yeah for sure no, that, that were worse for you that, that's your yeah, choice that, that was yeah my just my decision no i'm not yes. saying that uh, Maybe it was better to use the numbers I had in my social media. But, so I decided to do a new page. I have 1,600 followers. 90% of them is from my own. Oh, nice. 
Cool. So like it is is have possibility that you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. So it's, imagine like one thousand people follow what you do from yeah. your neighbor. That's, that's a huge. Yeah, that's a. Good... Not even like a a a, a present a performance in the street. You get you know this much people watching. Yeah. yeah. So you have that with social media. So have possible, mm -hmm. and you can also do so. And then with pay market. Now, instead of giving a flyer to 500 people, you can give a flyer a day to 10,000 people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 15,000 people. Way cheaper than printing flyers. Understand. From and your then, house. <laughs> and then the difference that that 80% that show away that you can retargeting, retargeting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can still... Go back to those people that put the the fire in their pocket and went home and threw away, you know. So in with social media, the part paying market, that is the thing. You can have data. You can yeah. understand what you're doing. You can yeah. improve what you're doing. Yeah. With just flyer, you can. Yeah, yeah. Because that the soon that person walks away, you don't know, you know. With with, so that's the technology aspect. Yeah, now, okay. Stuff. Yeah, the person, yeah, the person <laughs> walk uh, saw your ad, contact you. Then yeah. now what? What are you gonna do? What is next? Yeah, a lot of people come to me said, "Oh, I came to you because of your website." Yeah, people don't know how to do website. They doing websites to capoeirista. Yeah, no, yeah. not to come to new students. They're yeah. telling stories. Who was their master? Who was their that's not the place to do that. Yeah. You know, the graduation, the this and that. You know, we have the whole schedule and have, that's too much information. What I want is just, I have a free class for you. Come to the studio. In the studio, I have my graduation here in the wall. Yeah. I have yeah. the mass picture. Yeah. Right. The, here I have cultural. Yeah, right? yeah. In my website, of course, I talk about capoeira, but in a way that a person that never did capoeira, so oh, this is cool. Right. And then I talk about my free class. I talk about how I don't I don't have my schedule. And people are like, why you don't have your schedule? And I learned that from Mago. Because when people see that we for the Monday at eight PM doesn't work for them, they're yeah. not contact you. Ah that, good. Oh, that's a good point. That's a really they're good gonna point. look for the other place. So yeah, when they yeah, see yeah. okay. Uh, I don't have the schedule. Person. I'm gonna ask the person. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah. I, now I have their contact. Now I can mark the back. That's true. Now that's if true. they say, point. "Oh no, uh, eight doesn't work for me," I can okay. We're gonna start a class. What time works for you? Yeah. Then you have possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets more personal right. instead of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Schedule price. You know, people don't need to know your price until they walk show your room studio oh interesting okay cool only with the price is used for a catch yeah you know a catch but like people ask me how much you charge i'm like okay depends what you do we have four options here in yeah the studio usually you can come on one free class don't have to commit with anything then we can talk about price and then we see what is better for you then this giving me the chance to negotiate with the person and find a middle ground that works yeah. for it that I don't lose. Yeah. Now I have you, my you price. You say something really important there that you say like when somebody asks you how much you charge is it like well it depends on what do you do because you're interested on on what a person wants instead of like yeah. trying well you know we do this and this and this and this you just like no what do you want what, what is yeah. your choice what are you looking for? So bring the, part, bring yeah. the what you said all the bring the personal aspect yeah, 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 hundred percent. So I, I don't, I don't, I try. For example, yeah. I see people sending message. For example, I'm careful. I have a whole email set up. I have my message. I have like uh, SMS set up, but I try to always make as personal as possible. That yeah, goes yeah. to the next thing I want to say. Personal contact to you. You have their information now. You can mark phone call. Yeah. The phone call brings to a personal level. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, yeah. of course, no everybody, boy. no everybody gonna answer. Yeah, but you have to have that, and that's my weak part. I don't do that. Yeah. So I'm trying to find 
So I found a girl, she did a little bit for me, it was good. Now I have this guy that's going to do for me. That's my weakness. I understand my weakness. I don't yeah. try to, be, I, I learn enough to know what is good and what is not, but I cannot do. So I'm going to yeah. find someone that good do, do well, that's going to bring me result. Then a person call, invite for the free class. When they walk in here, then I do the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then I do the class. I'm happy. I'm playful. I'm, you know, kind. I make them see that they can do. I take the objections away. You know, oh, I'm not fit. I'm not flexible. I touch all these points before we talk about price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the things that are may gonna say, oh, my this, 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 this. right? I read the schedule. You know, all these things like so the the main uh, objection schedule. Uh, money. Yeah. Right, and then if it's too hard, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do I always think up when I'm trying to think about it. But if you can, in your first class, annulate this, then when you say, okay, if you sign up, I gave you 50% today, the people here are like, I want to be. And, they, and then now, one thing that I have now that I didn't have in the beginning, I have students. Yeah, I don't have to sell that much anymore. When they walk in here, they see the energy, they see them train, they see them how happy. Yeah, it's so much easier for me to sign up people. Yeah, you know, and yeah. So, and the last two points I want to say, I know I don't know how long we still have, but uh, probably like uh, ten more minutes. All right, no, that's yeah. good because yeah, I talk about. Uh, yeah, the, the, the mark. Uh, uh, one thing that's really helped me is understand why why people need to capoeira, why people do capoeira, oh, why, nice. why, okay. yeah, the yeah, reason, yeah. the yeah. reason that drives people, the well, reason well, drives me. What do you find out about what is the people, the, the what is the why that is driving people to your class? If that's a hard question because you cannot, I mean. The big things is feel that they belong to something. Yeah, the community you know, aspect. The community. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Think that, but yeah, that is hard to to sell in the beginning. Yeah, because there are a lot of people don't even know they they're we're looking for that. Yeah, you know. So I think, but that's one thing that make people stay, and a lot of times make them live too. But that's another subject. That's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The professional part, people being bad professionals in Capoeira, like <laughs> everywhere, you yeah, know. Yeah. But because they prom prom promise something that they don't deliver, or after the person is already committed, you start treat your student bad. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's not good. Yeah. So the why, what, what they gonna get? Yeah. With they sign up, the bonus, the value. That's something that's important for you to be clean your head. What you get, okay? You got your music or these elements that's the the not touchable, but like you got a free t-shirt, you got one month free, whatever, you know, one class free, two weeks yeah. of jujitsu. So yeah. All these people is the what, right? Uh, and how, how yeah. how works, how how they sign up. You know, you have to have this clear. How is the process? How yeah. they grow, you know how how they develop. Yeah. So you start understand this, so you, your conversation with people is easier. Yeah. Not never easy, but it's easier, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, the 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 experience is really important. The yeah, hundred percent. Show the experience and you know make them feel you know the experience. This feeling, no one sells. Uh, about like iPhone, you don't sell some, you don't buy because the iPhone, you buy because the experience the iPhone give you. That's right? true, yeah, yeah. So is that, and then you have after they sign up is the begin phase, that where you now you you need to make them understand that it's possible, right? During the train, you make them they, they feel they belong, they are part, they're important. Yeah. Uh, uh, low the expectation, right? You don't have expectation. I don't have expectation. I just want to have you to enjoy. You know, I want you to have fun. Fall in love with Capone. Yeah. If yeah. you're enjoying what you're doing, then you you won't be here. You're gonna yeah. miss when you're not here, right? 
I, I do a lot of music and then all the class. So all these things I bring us together. And then when you pass the begin phase and then it start the trick part, that the student phase. Yeah. That when it gets too personal and you start having drama, you start having yeah. dealing with more. That's part two. You need to understand, you need to study that. You need to bring uh, uh, new things, you know. You have to always refresh, you know. Yeah. Always fresh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah and that is you keeping learning, you know. Capoeira yeah. can bring. That is something that my teacher did really well. He never hide anything from us. Every class was, you know, the first three years that we didn't have any information, we trained a lot of basic. That, but that helped us so much when we, yeah. when a couple explode for us, that we saw like how much could it be it was easier because we had a, a rather good foundation. Yeah, and I yeah. tried to bring this to my group. This is why I designed the intro program for your girl foundation fitness and capoeira and then when you go to a next level you feel safe and you feel strong yeah right so it's not so much frustrating and then my goal now is to create little courses oh, music cool. okay. course you know acrobatic courses things yeah. that teach course you know that is how israel already do that some schools do that but now okay you want to be a teacher you're gonna to have to take this course to learn how to be a teacher. Yeah, you know, and then you you separate who is there just for hobby, who is there for teaching, who is there for performing, and you start make clear people's expectations. Yeah, yeah, and your expectations, and and I think we have to change one thing about capoeira that every have things that should be in conscience. You know, yeah. the feeling. A lot of things, like in class, I say figure out to my student. Yeah. I show the sequence or the exercise, and I go figure out. Yeah. And then after I come back, okay, questions. And I'll go, okay, because have that part. Because if not, when you're playing capoeira, you cannot play capoeira, right? If you yeah. get everybody in the hand, but have things that we need to make clear. Yeah. Right? For, you don't sign up for a university, a college, if you don't know exactly what you're going to take in the four years or the yeah. possibilities or the journey, capoeira is unclear. Someone will sign up, they don't know the journey, and that is the danger part because no yeah. one wants to do that. I don't yeah, want to. Yeah, because do they, they don't know. They, they don't know. Uh, they, yeah, they don't know what to expect. They, they don't know where, where they're going to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. So, yeah, I think that this is. Have a lot of work, of course, like yeah, for sure. But what I realize and I start realize is not one thing that you do, and it's not one crazy thing or one magical thing. It's a lot of little boring things. Yeah, that 100%. together that make work. It's not. It's a machine. You have to make sure that all the screw is tight. Yeah. And you know, and check, and do maintenance and all check. the time. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because if not, it's not like a major thing that I did. Yeah, it's not about doing it once. Is, yeah, you know, and it's consistent every month. The time that I start, the month that I don't pay attention, I see people are not paying or giving up, yeah. or no one new comes. So I have that circulation. I know, yeah. like. I bring five new students, I lose three. Huh. So now the idea is to like, okay, bring more yeah. and lose less, right? So yeah. that's the goal. But yeah, man, every time I do the free class, we have three, four sign up and have more people trying the week. Uh, I try to push the free class, but if people want to come during the week, I say, yeah, it's good. So I have a lot of strategy, right? Yeah. And then you start to find what works for you yeah. You know, what works for your personality, what works for your area, right? And body has a lot of work. A lot of yeah. studying, a lot of, you know, pay attention, learn, asking, trying, testing. And it's every day. Yeah. And every day work. Like I wake yeah. up, I will, as soon as I wake up, I write in the computer or I think, okay, what I need to do today or what I need to do now that are going to bring me results now. Yeah. Because a lot of times you're focusing things that are going to bring results, but it's not the ma major thing right now. Yeah. So I try to focus on things. You're okay. Prioritize. Yeah. 
and for me to not dealing and more with urgency yeah no, I try not to do urgent things last minute, or of course we do, but things that I could have done and I didn't. Yeah. Right? Because I pro procrastinate a lot. I'm lazy, you know, and it's not training, I'm lazy yeah. and I'm not organized. I'm not, I don't play, and I'm Brazilian. Yeah. I had to, I, you know, I had to learn all these, and now that I'm learning, I'm like, oh, it could be so much easier. Yeah. All this time, you know. And then now I have time to enjoy. I start having time to enjoy. I'm not so much. I mean, I still worry about money. You know that I'm making a lot of money, but I'm like, oh, it's possible. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's possible to have a good life with Capoeira. Yeah. yeah. And this before cool. I finish, I want to show the studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. And also, guys, they're gonna watch. I'm gonna make these. We have a bullet. And we so cool, yeah. try to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna make a file. Yeah. And who wants this can contact me and I send to you for us starting to make little changes in your capoeira community. And if everybody starts succeeding, then capoeira gonna grow. I believe that together. I know I tried to pass this to my students and who knows me knows that. I want to support, I want to have my philosophy. I want to have enough students that I can support my friends. You know, in whatever they do, I can go hodas. And then instead of have a hoda with five people, now we have a hoda with 200 people. Yeah, and yeah. And then people see, see, and then people see, okay, what is going on? Then people are going to start paying attention. Then we're going to be easy for us to find the sponsors. Yeah. Then it's going to yeah, be yeah. easy for us to make it happen. Yeah, but we need to be together. The first yeah. thing we need to change our mindset. No more school names. Yeah, I have my lineage, and I respect that, and I give value to that. But yeah. we are capoeira first yeah. place, yeah. like Juju yeah. did. Yeah, and that part we need to do that the same thing. Be together, invest, invest. We need yeah. invest. A lot of people don't want to invest. We need invest. Yeah, exactly. well, we, and we we can talk about the the school stuff because a lot of people get confused that, but but let's let's leave that for another topic. That that's a very interesting topic for me. That, but let's definitely talk about that. Show, show me a studio. Okay. I'm gonna try to show. I don't know if I can so the camera. Let me see what I can. Turn. You got it. This is my that's home. So nice. So, we'll so de the, describe describe there what, what the, people. The Evolve name, uh, as always, I thought like a name that would be easier for people to remember, you know. And I have my Capoeira school name, but this is more for the academy. If one day I do my own academy that I'm going to offer different things, so it'll be Evolve. And the red part is Love, you know. So, it's the Evolve opposite is Love, Dream and oh, nice. Fly. And in these arts, I did it for friends. And so I decided to put in the academy. Here is Sao Paulo, where I'm coming from. This I did it for a friend yeah. there that was teaching Capoeira in a martial arts school. Yeah. We're all like the same, right? Yeah. All the same goals. This is a little bit real. You know, that's oh, Miami. Nice. A picture. This is a picture with all these students and special moments so far that I jumped. Is it for me for Christmas and all these students and the people that have been here sign up? Oh, so nice. I'll try to I have the entrance water, water for the students. They put a water bottle here. I have. I try to make it easy for everybody. So I yeah. have like my store link here. I have. This is the T-shirt. That I give it to people when they sign up. Nice. So I have the review, some material that people, as Quaker gave me this. He did a magazine, another guy that you can learn a lot from. Oh, nice. Uh, so I have my wall owls. That is my uh, Nestle nickname. Nice Kuruja. Kuruja. Yeah. This is for the kids that have the buy the kids. Uh, I want to put so on cool. top of here. Say move better, live better on that. Yeah. Band. So that's the entrance. Oh, oh cool. Nice. And here. 
it's kind of like a little weight room. The parents stay here sometimes, have cloth for them. Ah, that's really nice. Right? I like, I like make us as more comfortable. See, here I am still. Uh, I'm losing you a little bit. Working here, we're gonna do like a little bit downstairs. So just make it. Oh, the internet. Yeah, better. There, there. Yeah, yeah, there's here better. is the sign training scene. Nice. Or remain the same. Yeah. So here, put all the messages that kind of like inspire me some moment in my journey. You know. That's really nice. This I did it from an old picture. Yeah. What is the square footage of your studio? I think it's 20 by 160, I say. Something like that right now. You, you know the, the square footage? Like the total square uh, footage? I don't remember right now. Oh, okay. I love the mask, man. I love yeah, the mask. African mask. So we're going to... I My idea is to fill up this wall, this part here with wood. Yeah. You know, to... Sick. So my nice the building balls for the student. Yeah. All so these are I did. You know, I have my warriors there. This picture here, uh the tiger I saw in Hawaii and stuck in my head. So I took a picture. Yeah. And I had the owl because my teacher and the yeah. monkey because I think represent Capoeira, the monkey, you know. Yeah. And inside I have a bunch of like little things that represents Cambuera. Nice. And That's really cool, man. Here are the, some of the instruments. This I put the belt. I like for that. People to see our graduation here. I have yeah. some like extra. Capoeira for life. I did that. Think that. And here I'm doing my offs. So I like things here. Then I was still organized. Coffee. You know, Coffee. The <laughs> uniforms. See my planning. Yeah, I cannot show that too much. My week, month yeah. planning. I'll map from my own, and that's it, man. That's, that's so cool. Still working man. here. Yeah, yeah. Still working, getting ready for the Vadea Miami in three weeks. Well, when is the time yeah. for what? When, what is the date? We start the thirteenth Monday. Of course, people can come the weekend and arrive. Start enjoying. Enjoying okay. Miami, and then the whole week we're gonna have class, a uh, workshop in the morning, and workshops in the afternoon. During the day, I'm gonna take people to tours. So we're going to the beach, we we'll go to see little uh, places, specific places in Miami that are uh, really nice. Everglades, where you see the crocodiles. Oh, cool! We're gonna have yeah, we're gonna have like a boat right there, and then. Uh, Thursday night we have a uh, workshop and a hall in this this uh, design district. This really nice, nice. Uh, neighbor here, and then Tyra is the baptized in the morning, the 18th, and then we have more workshops in the afternoon. We're gonna have here mestre, a lot of mestres, mes mombranca, piquenes, mes betinho, mes lobinho, mes chico, mes masca. Mes Canela, Mes Marisa, uh, Mestre in India, um, and a bunch of Mestre Cabeção. Mes Cabeção, <laughs> Sutor Cachixi, nice, people from man. California, uh, yeah. from Charlotte, Indiana, Chicago, Michigan, yeah. you know, New York, a bunch of people here, all the, uh, everybody here from Florida, there's a lot of capoeira. Oh, yeah. And it'd be nice. And then Saturday really go uh, party back in the design district. Yeah. And Sunday, we have a surprise, but I cannot, because we only have 30 spots open for the surprise. Okay. But uh, that's Tell me a surprise only later, for who like... participate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I think I'll put it in Florida just to close. I'm really excited. I have a lot of good excited, teachers man. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like a lot of good capoeiristas, a lot of good students, they're learning capoeira so fast. Of course, I had people that have been working here for like 30 years, of oh, course. Yeah. So we have to be be grateful for those people. Yeah. 
but also a lot of people are moving here like my small branch is here now my speaking is here now yeah you know so it's just i'm really excited to see i hope we can manage to do the right work to be together to let the ego outside you know don't yeah. no fight no school and work together and i think a few years company my arm is gonna be fire i think so like too. yeah i think so too so and the weather here is just amazing you know like everybody's in lobin saying that he lost power this week and i'm like and don't here i'm sweating <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like, <laughs> yeah oh, i man, saw that fun. that's so funny well man thank you so much man yeah it was fun to to talk to you and learn from you and all the experience that you have there especially opening the new studio it's still pretty new because one year is not it's not that long yeah. but I bet it feels like long time for you. For you. <laughs> yeah. Now it's new projects to yeah. grow, you know, like what is the next step? So I'm already thinking about projects for, okay, what is the next thing? For the sure. teacher course I want to create, uh, some school project, maybe some, even some like other academies. Yeah. You know, yeah. What is next? So yeah, pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. Well, I'm excited for you and, just let, let me know how I can help you and, and if there's something I can do to help you, just let me know. Perfect. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. And then we'll you too, man. Let, let me know if, you know, you guys are family, so. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. We'll, we'll, we all from heart. I want, I want to share as much as I can. Also, I want to learn, you know, as much as I can. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate I it. Learned, I learned one thing from SMG. See, uh, one couple of events is worth six months of training. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's for sure, man. Yeah. Oh, man, talk to you soon and then let's, let's stay in touch, okay? Thank you, Kashishi. Peace. Kashishi. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being part of this episode one more time. And thank you so much for being part of the Capoeira community. I'm very happy you made it all the way to the end. Now, make sure you listen to the next episode next week or the following week or the previous episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to reach out so we can have you on the podcast. Okay. Thank you so much for being part of this amazing journey in the Capoeira community. And I really, really hope to see you one time here in Indianapolis or I'll see you in the hot next time. Okay. Keep training, keep your Capoeira school, keep supporting your Capoeira school, and keep training, keep loving Capoeira, keep training, keep training, keep playing the hot. I'll see you in the hot next time. 